Hey, what's up, everybody? It is Kellen here from Start Your Systems, and welcome back to MXS ATV Legends. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the ATV physics and talking a little bit about it in the game. Um, if you've just now got the game, or if you're thinking about getting the game, I'm going to try to talk you through about some quirks or you know things that are interesting about the ATV physics. Uh, personally speaking, I am more of a motocross guy, but I do respect a lot of people that go fast on quads, and I always actually like uh, you know trying out the quads in these games and seeing what they feel like and stuff like that. I was a huge fan of ATV Off-Road Fury games uh, when I was younger, so I uh, definitely have a little bit of a soft spot for quads, and I know some Moto fans are going to think that that's stupid or whatever, but hey, quad guys uh, are just as many people, or are just as much of people as we are, okay? Calm down. Um, so let's talk about the physics a little bit in this game and how it pertains to the quads. Gotta admit, so far, and I haven't played the game more than maybe 15 hours or so at this point, I think I like the quad physics the best of all three vehicles. Uh, played mostly with the bike, mostly with the motocross bike, uh, but you know I've also done some stuff in the ATVs. I've also done some stuff on the eight on uh, excuse me on the UTVs. Done some stuff on the ATVs, and so far to me at least, I feel like the quad physics in this game make the most sense. Uh, if if that kind of makes sense, um, there's a lot of sliding in this game, and there's a lot of kind of bounciness to this game. And to me, just thinking back to my ATV off of Fury days, it it kind of has that feel to it a little bit where like it bounces oddly off of some stuff. Like you come up short on a jump and it bounces really weird instead of like soaking it up. Um, that's what it feels like a lot with the, the quads in this game. And then with the sliding, that's kind of what I would expect a quad to feel like anyway. Now I've never ridden a quad at race speed or anything like that. I've ridden it around like a yard, but uh, you know, I, when I see people race quads, you know, there's a lot of like leaning off the side of the bike and letting the rear end kind of do the steering almost. Uh, you know, they're obviously turning and steering with the front of the bike, but they're, you know, they're hanging off the side and letting the rear end kick out and let the, the dust spray and stuff like that. And even the dust spraying off of the rear tires suddenly looks realistic to me uh, when it doesn't look realistic to me on the dirt bikes in this game. So take that for what it's worth. Uh, Maybe I'm, I'm dead wrong, and if quad guys are watching this video, they're like, oh, this looks terrible too, so I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the quad guy, uh, but I do like you know playing these. And again, just talking about the physics a little bit, you know, it slides, but it looks realistic. The corners, it's a lot of uh, leaning with both sticks, just like it is on the dirt bike. If you watched that video that I talked earlier about uh, the, the bike physics in this game. Um, and a lot of things that carry over from the bike side still work in, in the quads. So you can still kind of like scrub to a degree, like it's not near as much, uh, but it's still the same ideology where you lean to the left with both sticks uh, or lean to the right with both sticks to initiate a scrub. Um, you can also do kind of like the, the shorter scrub or the flick scrub as I like to call it, where you turn both sticks away or turn both sticks inward towards each other and you get a little bit of like a, just like a smaller scrub off. That's what that was right there. Um, Again, you can't really scrub a, a quad necessarily. You can like slide it off the face of a jump if you're talking about real life, but it doesn't necessarily keep you lower to the ground. So the physics that on a quad would work the best are kind of this double jump physics thing, which I've talked about as well already in many videos where, you know, you pull up and pull up with the left stick and the bike kind of floats higher into the air or you push down with the left stick and it pushes back down into the ground. Um, again, to me, kind of makes more sense with the quad stuff than it does with the dirt bike. Now, I still think it's way overdone, personally speaking, but it does feel a little bit more natural on the quad. I, again, I don't play quad simulator or quad MX bikes or whatever, so um, I can't compare it to like a simulation type of game for quads, but what I'm feeling at least, it, it does feel nice. I feel like it works pretty well, at least on this Supercross track that I'm playing. Uh, I'm also going to give it a go on a national track and talk a little bit, a bit about how it feels on a national track. But at least so far, this gives you kind of a small glimpse into what it looks like, more or less what it feels like as well, because I feel like you can kind of see it a little bit better with the quads, um, with the sliding and the, you know, the movements in the air and how the quad reacts to certain things and, and the bounciness of it and stuff like that. And then how tight these supercross tracks are because they're meant for dirt bikes, <laughs> but the quads have to try to sneak their way around this track as well. So yeah, um, so far, liking the quads. Um, I, I don't think it's my favorite discipline in the game still, even though it's maybe the most realistic feeling to me. But um, yeah, having fun with it so far. 
Uh, that's it for Supercross, though, because I'm sucking again, and the second I start sucking, I feel like I need to stop. So let's move over to the Nationals, where I feel like I'll be a little bit more myself. All right, now moving on to the outdoor track to see what these quads feel like on an outdoor track. We're going to jump right off the track, because why not? And I've chosen the Vallis tabletop circuit here. Why did I choose that? Well, to me, it reminds me a little bit of a track. I think it was called Red Rock Canyon in the initial ATV Offered Fury um, because it's got these archways and some pretty red looking dirt and more of like a desert biome. So just getting some little throwback vibes here. Love to see it. But um, I feel like, you know, playing this track, it'll give us a bit more of an indication about the sliding. The national tracks is definitely where a lot of the sliding happens. Uh, not just the quads, but the dirt bikes as well. And honestly, the UTVs. The UTVs slide around like crazy. Uh, but I think it's a little bit more fun on the UTVs because it's kind of like uh, harder to control and, and makes it a little bit more, I don't know, just like kind of a more fun racing game in that aspect of it. On the dirt bikes, I feel like it's too much as I OJ the crud out of that jump on this quad. Um, but yeah, I, I think this track will give us a little bit better indication on the quads about the, the sliding aspect of it, which you can see it kind of coming into the corner. It's like sliding. Anytime you see the dust kicking off on either side of me quite a bit, that's where basically it's just sliding. Like I'm trying to turn a certain direction and it's it's not hooking up. It's just sliding at that point. It's going to bounce again. Um, and I have, the, this is a fully upgraded quad, by the way. So it is, uh, it is maxed out to the max quite literally. And the bouncing is just part of the game. I think uh, it, I, I fiddled with setups a little bit, but not too much, I guess. Maybe I need to work a little bit more on that. And boy, oh boy, these, these quads are bouncy. Bounce, 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 bounce all the way down the hill. <laughs> we got a big triple jump right here. And then double or just like a kind of jump down the hill. Breaking bumps into a hard corner. There's some more of that sliding. But again, to me, I feel like it, it it's pretty realistic for quads. I could be dead wrong. Maybe they need to be hooking up a little bit more. Quad guys out there can unite to let me know how much I'm an idiot in the chat. I don't care. I'm just trying to at least try to explain what I'm feeling in this game. And uh, hopefully it, it relates to you guys a little bit better that way. Um, but so far, the same with dirt, the dirt bikes in this game. I love the outdoor tracks and how they feel in this game. Um, definitely feel like there's a lot better feeling with the outdoor tracks than it is in Supercross. I don't know what it is about Supercross that's not gelling with me yet, but I'm hoping to kind of get there. Uh, at least for the outdoor stuff, though, I feel pretty confident on a lot of the stuff. It's not really shining through in my riding right now, I guess. But uh, yeah, like the outdoor tracks a little bit better. A lot of leaning back though on the quads just to kind of keep that front end light and uh, loop out as much as possible, I guess. Uh, because it is so bouncy, I feel like you want to keep the front end from planting into the ground as much as possible. So I'm going to try to go a little bit shorter on that jump. There we go. So that's like, there's, there's like a bit of an idea of what the scrub is like on a quad. You can see how much lower to the ground I stayed going up that jump right there. Put this inside rut. Nope, didn't quite get it. And then again, using a lot of the clutch as well. You can see the clutch denoted by the little arrow next to my speedometer. So if I go off the jump and I flick it a bunch of times, you see that little like kind of upward pointing arrow. That's the clutch. So, you know, I'm hitting the clutch when I, I use that. And then really using both sticks for some preload, a lot more of the right stick, uh, very similar to the dirt bike, which is, you know, seat bouncing with the right stick and doing a little bit more of like pulling up with the left stick than anything. But uh, yeah, I mean, it, physics wise, it's pretty similar to the dirt bike. But again, to me, this feels a little bit better on the ATV side of it, maybe a little bit more natural or, or what have you. Um, yeah, so I, I'm a fan of the ATVs in this game. I'm excited to, uh, you know, try them out a little bit more in career mode and see how I guess I stack up against the AI in this game and then maybe do some online racing with you fine folks and see, uh, you know, what you guys have figured out on the quads. Because again, for me, I'm more of a motocross dirt bike guy. So I'm definitely going to be playing the dirt bikes a lot more in this game probably, but there still is a lot of the quad stuff you need to do in career as is with the UTV and all that stuff I'll be getting to. So yeah, excited to uh, tackle some of that stuff and and play more MX State TV Legends. A lot more coming out in the coming days from us and really into the next few months because we're going to be playing a lot of this game, uh, showing off all the features and, and just having a good time playing it. It's a new game, new fun to be had, and very excited to show it off for you guys. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. As always, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't uh, subscribed already. Still grinding to that 100K mark. Hopefully we could get there soon. Um, but appreciate everybody that always tunes in so, and supports every single time that we upload a video. You guys are the real MVPs. Uh, so I'm going to send you guys on your way and hopefully you enjoyed this one as much as I did. But thanks guys for tuning in and we'll see you guys in the next one. So long for now.